Good morning, Vietnam. I mean, good morning, Tennessee. It's a way too early morning here in Tennessee. There is something that's really super fun that's about to happen. Sheetrock's about to come down that road. Or Studio Wang. Unfortunate thing is the guy says, we're gonna be there at 6.30 in the morning. Is that okay? Sure. Why not? Uh, because they can't come any other day and we'd rather it be here than it not be here. So, Laura and I got up a little too early to greet the sheet rockers. Welcome to Tennessee, everyone. Let's get that sheet rock in this building and start the brand new video. Sheet rock in the studio wing. It's happening, boys and girls. Let's do this. The sheet rockers are here as you see and I love it that they're, they're tag teaming it. There's two trucks and uh, two crews. They're just flying it in. The tiny door in the back which was super excited. I was hoping they'd be doing that. There's a, a few boards that they can't get through the back door because they're just too tall. They're called stretch. They're at the 48s or 54s for certain reasons so they're gonna have to come in this front door. We'll do that in a little bit but anyway it's kind of cool they're doing that. I love this. I love I love that they're tag teaming it through that, that tiny door mix I think everyone's a little happier. Que j'ai trouvé ce matin, on commettra Que le voli est du lit dans mon lit Moi qui ne suis pas beau, moi qui suis plutôt vilain Qu'un diable blanc d'après certains Quel travesti well, those boys sure made quick work getting the sheetrock in this building. They double teamed it, those, those two teams, it was great. So now we got the sheetrock in this building. In a matter of days, the uh, sheetrock crew, today's Friday, maybe Monday, God willing, we'll find out. Maybe Wednesday. I don't know. Either way. In a matter of days, we're gonna get rock on the ceiling and the walls, and we're gonna be cooking. So with that, let's get at it. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, and in a matter of hours, this building will be white, white with sheet rock. The sheet rock here goes there, and it's gonna be so exciting. Yeah, I am. It's a it's a turning point. Uh, that I have been looking forward to for quite some time. We've been dreaming of this day of getting this building sheetrocked. The beginning of the end starts now. <laughs> uh, as you see, like we've been working on this other project. We've been here for about seven months or so uh, doing all of this work, you know, clearing the land, getting the buildings down here, working on the main wing for the majority of this project in here as well but either way we are now focusing on the studio like we said in an earlier video and the studio is about to get sheet rocked here it is and they're like so there's just a few a little racky things that's going to come out the sheet rockers will be here in mere moments sheet rocked everything will be sheet rocked it will be me bueno 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 yeah let's get some sheet rock on these walls <laughs> Que faites-vous ici? Que vont se faire? Si joli, elles ont lit dans mon lit. Je ne pratique pourtant aucun voodoo pour expliquer la présence de ce corps autour qui 
se faufile Elles lui dans mon lit Elles me répondent à haut D'une voix toute innocente Au frère blanc Moins pas qui tu penses Moins qu'une fille Je m'appelle Julie Marie de Haïti Hier soir mon cher, nous t'es dans ces combats Tu m'as serré tout fort, toujours dans tes bras Je me suis dit, ma fille Julie, tu iras dans son lit Cette coquine, cette petite souris, elle m'embrassa et j'étais converti. Je l'ai gardé toute la journée, Erzuli, dans mon lit. Et cette coquine, cette petite souris, elle m'embrassa et j'étais converti. Je l'ai gardé. Toute la vie est Zuli dans mon lit, oh ouais. Elle Zuli dans son lit. Elle Zuli dans son lit. Elle Zuli dans son lit et dans la cuisine aussi. Elle Zuli dans son lit, oh c'est qui joli. Elle Zuli dans son lit. <laughs> we're, we're clearly worn. After a long day, we have a white building, Laurel. Isn't this amazing? It's a white building, and check out the reverb with us. That's some nice reverb. Nice, yeah. So, hours ago, it looked like this. Now, it looks like this. Look at that beautiful transformation, Laurel. And so, yeah. they're going to come back in a few days to finish the mudding, which we'll show in a little bit. And then we're off to the races doing painting and everything else that's fun to finish up this wonderful project. <laughs> As which we love! Which we are so happy to be doing! So, yeah, anyway, yeah, we're, we're both kind of getting to the end of a rope with this project, we just really to be are. honest. <laughs> so, we're doing our best to entertain you in the process. But anyway, on to the next scene where we're going to have Never people Never do this. Never do this. <laughs> It's so much fun! It's so much fun! <laughs> anyway, next scene, they'll be putting mud in things in these cracks and holes and, and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something Sheet rockers are done. Sheet rockers all done. Give us a, another resonance tone before we start losing this stuff. Okay. Ding! Yay, look at that. So now I'm going to get to painting. I'm not going to show you too much of that because you all seen me paint before. I'll give you some clips, maybe me painting, but walls 
everything white. Bathroom's gonna be blue this time, everyone, so that look forward to that. But anyway, you know, air conditioner unit. So it's all done, yay. So now onto the painting, which we'll make it quick. Let's make it happen. Yes. <laughs> the day draws to an end, I have painted 90% of this building. I started about 12.30, about six-ish, I don't know, I've lost track of time, but apparently I look pretty fabulous. I've got hair, I get paint, paint on my hair, paint on my face, paint on my beard. It's been a good day, but uh, what's left is I gotta do this little bit here, and then up in the loft space, up in the loft space and above this window here. So I'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, primer coat is on, and then tomorrow I will uh, keep painting primer and then get the paint colors. Like I said, blue in the bathroom and just the same color as the white in the grave here as we had in the main wing. But anyway, I'm pretty exhausted, pretty sweaty. It's a hot day here in Tennessee, and so I got a fan help me out a little bit. Anyway, I'm probably not making any sense because I'm just hot and overworked. Anyway, next scene. I don't know. All right, next morning. We got the scary light going on here. What we got doing is plumbing, plumbing pro tips. No, we got painting pro tips for you. I know you love your pro tips coming up. Here's a painting pro tip for you as a tell scare film. What you do after you paint the first coat like we did yesterday, what you do is you take your light, take your bright halogen light, and you shine it on the angle like this, and you'll get to see any imperfections in what the Pro is called boogers. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? You can see a little knob right there. You can see another one right there, but you can't see it in a normal light. You can kind of see it in a normal lighting, but it gets exa exaggerated by the light, right? So what you do is you take one of these things, little little you know putty knife, something. Sometimes a four-inch blade is better than a one-inch blade, but either way, you take this thing and you see it and you just scratch them off with this thing. And what that does, and granted, the light's never gonna be this direct on the wall, right? But what you're doing is you're kind of going over all the walls and seeing where those little things are because it's just gonna make the wall look that much nicer. So anyway, painting pro tips for you today. Putty knife, light, and just walk the whole room that you're doing and uh, even the ceiling. Do the whole thing because you probably won't see them in the future, but I guarantee you, if the light hits it just right, you'll see these little weird things. So anyway, wanted to give that to you before I uh, keep going on painting today. Here is the finished Baño Azul. Can't really see it because it's so dark in here, but blue walls, white ceilings. Look at that. Got a lot smaller in here all of a sudden, but there it is. Yay. Hey, hey. So coming to an end of another day of painting. Painting Azul Baños. Baño Azul. Something like that, blue bathroom. Painting it, all done. Laurel's happy with it. It's kind of a fun bathroom. So with that, I think I'm gonna wrap this video. Uh, Y'all don't need to watch me painting the walls. I think you get the idea. Like, if you wanna watch me paint walls, you can check out this video linked above. It's when I painted the other uh, house. So anyway, painting's getting completed, everyone. One of the next big steps after this is I want to finish off the uh, the bathroom and the for lots of reasons I'll go into the next video but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the um, flooring in here put the toilet and put the vanity in here before the electricians show up because we got to have and this is by the way for those of you all curious I didn't paint this because there's a medicine cabinet going here and so this is plywood that I installed uh, so that the medicine cabinet can, can go in it's a surface mount medicine cabinet so there's a recess either way 
But anyway, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching the video. Much appreciated. Love all y'all. And uh, love and blessings from Tennessee. We'll see you in the next video. So stay tuned. The next video, like I said, it's going to be getting that bathroom finished and the finished floor here in this house and maybe even some of the electrical done. So, yeah. Coming along. Let's do it.